Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm going out fishing today on the Dolphin. It's right out there. It's going to be a half day trip. Just met Steve here and Carl. And we are going to be bottom fishing, I'm sure. Hopefully there's some Bonita big ones running around. Look at all these people. These guys are all going out on the Dolphin today. We're going to have a blast. Where are you guys from? From here. New Mexico. San Diego. Mexico, San Diego. Where are you guys from? San Diego. This is a big group going out for the holidays? Yeah. All right. You're, hopefully you like being stars. You're going to be on YouTube. Unless you don't want, and then I'll uh, blur you out. So anyways, we're getting ready to go. The boat goes out at 1 o'clock. We'll get back about 6 o'clock. We're just going to go out and have a lot of fun. Who are you people over here? We're from Idaho. Idaho? Idaho. All right. So you've ever been out on a deep sea fishing boat before? No. All right, well, we're going to catch lots of fish, right. and the mates will help you out a lot on this boat. I'll help you, too, if you need help. Right. Just holler. Yell Cousin Jim, and I'll be there. All right. All right, we're on the Dolphin. I just met Matthew here. He just finished rigging up. So what do you got going here? Yeah, we got a double dropper loop on a four-ounce targeting rockfish, probably primarily, hopefully, some sculpin. Cousin Jim. Maybe you got some it. good advice here. Maybe go pretty close to the bottom. So I got one about eight inches from the bottom and another one maybe three, three, three. and a half feet. Okay. We'll find and out. What pound test are you fishing today? Just 40. Just and, mono. And you, mono, okay. Yeah. And you got a Phoenix rod there. That's right. What's it rated for? You know, what is it rated for? I don't have any idea. It's a 7, 8, 15 to 40. 15 we'll to 40. Okay, end. so yeah. you've got it at the top end. Yeah. I usually fish my rods at the middle. You know, so if it's uh, 20 to 60, I usually will fish 40 on them. So we'll see how this works today. <laughs> my, I got a bet with Matthew that he's not going to catch a fish on the top on the top hook. That's my bet. That bet. All right, Let's you got it. I'll buy you a beer. Okay, I don't drink beer, but I'll take a Diet Coke. There we go. I'll buy you a beer if you catch one up there. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a full boat load today. Check out all these people going fishing on the dolphin. We're going to have a blast. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button. Overall, I think we'll be okay today. No rain in our forecast, but you never know about Mother Nature. Uh, two things on our own, but so far, the way things look, we're looking good shape. The fish is actually really good. Right? Yeah, the fish is right over there in the, the sand all and along the those piers. All the all halibuts, halibuts are all over there. Yeah. I used to Deep fish there halibut. all the time. Deep for halibut. All right, we got Ricky with his first job here on the boat. What are you doing, man? Making chum. For Making chum. Secret, secret sauce. So is that going to help us catch fish? It's going to stimulate the appetite for all these fools down there. Hopefully we hook up on some uh, rockfish down there. Oh, we're going to find them. Yes, sir. Hopefully we got some lean cod on board, a sheep head, some interesting bites. I hope so. So how small are you going to chop that stuff up to? Uh, maybe like thirds. Thirds? But not like blended. Not, not soupy. Yeah, not soupy. You, you're not running it through your blend tech. No. It's not going through the Vitamix. Remember those videos on YouTube? Will it blend? Where the guy blended cell phones, golf yeah. balls, everything. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what Ricky's doing. He's helping us out today. Thanks, Ricky, for volunteering your time, man. No problem. All right, here we come out to the bait barges. This is how almost every trip starts. There's some sea lions down there in the water. The birds are in the water. The fishing's actually very good, but right by these floating barges here, they're full of bait. All these guys want a free meal. That's why they're hanging out down here. Look at them all down there. Life is good when you're a sea lion laying here in San Diego Harbor. The boat got a little close to these guys, got them all up and riled up. We disturbed their nap. There they go. Pretty graceful with the way they go into the water. Going to see if we can uh, get some of these sardines scooped up. What they're doing is they're reaching to the far side, trying to get the biomass of fish. 
on this side slide it together look how many fish they were able to scoop They're filling three bait wells here on the back of the boat. Look at all the birds, man. They just are swarming the deck. We're getting ready to leave. Look how fast they can put one of these guys down. Scorpion, rockfish, sheephead, mink cod, halibut, sand bass. Here comes the first one. Nice little sculpin'. No way. No. I got the bottom. I think he's hooked up right next to me here. See what's coming up from the deep. Oh, there we go. Sand bass. All right, hooked up next to me here. Let's see what he's bringing in. He's casting out away from the boat a little bit. Oh, nice little sand bass. There we go. Sand bass on board. Oh, check this out. I've never seen one of these before. It's called a wolf eel. We got a positive ID on this, and it is a rare Pacific snake eel. No. Is it good? Finally, I got something. I'm betting on a sculpin. That's my bet. Here it comes. Oh, ho. Oh, yeah. That is a calico bass. Cool. Hey. Oh. My number is number one. How much short? Yeah, yep. 14 inches. Yep, yep. I'm letting him go. Hi, Gunny. Right, right. There he goes. All right, look at that. Nice little sand bass. They got to be 14 inches, and he makes it. All right, there's the bite. We got one coming up from the deep. Here it comes. I got color. I got another calico bass that is too small. And this one was hungry. He scarfed it. How come my bass are small and yours are big? I don't know. <laughs> All right, there he goes. Little calico bass headed away. All right, let's walk around and see if anybody's catching anything. You doing anything back here? Uh, little nibbles. Little nibbles? I got a couple of calico bass that were too small. So, and I've seen some big sand bass come in that I didn't catch. Oh yeah, I saw that too. Big sheep's head somewhere. Oh, here we go. We got a sculpin coming in. He's been dehorned. Nice looking fish. You're a star. You still got the big fish in your family? No, my uncle got the bigger one. Okay, so you won 50 bucks though for the first fish. Yep. Okay, but we got all day. You're gonna get a bigger one? Hopefully. Yes, you are. I Be confident. Okay. Be confident in your fishing skills. Okay. You can't let your uncle take your money. Okay. We got a sculpin. Let's see if I can get stung. Hope so. <laughs> All right. Come on, open the mouth. Just want to keep her? Yeah, I think that's 10 inches. That one looks kind of small. I got a measure right here. He's pretty dug on close. You want to keep him or let him go? All right, we're going to let this one go. 
one might be legal. He might be legal. Yeah, let's go check. What's your number? 19. 19. You got him, Curtis? Yep. All right. Not my decision, not your decision. And if he's legal, I'll keep him. <laughs> you got a jig head on the bottom of that, Ricky? Yeah, two ounce. With like a six inch swim bait. Okay. Just a little piece of squid on there. Going for something a little bigger. Yeah. Well, that guy over there, he's been catching bigger sand bass. Yeah, he is. He has. I, there we go. Hooked up next to me. It's got a monster on here, I'm sure. It's a monster. Coming up from the deep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Maybe. Last few I've gotten been just short. Good looking sculpin. If he's legal, he'll make a taco. Legal. There it is. That's a sculpin. There it is. This is part of the Idaho clan, right? Yes, sir. All right. There it is. A sculpin for Idaho. They're starting to bite. There's another sculpin going into the bag. Yep, there we go. And get him in the boat. <laughs> there we go. Got a sand bass. Nice job, Sean. Good looking sand bass. Good job, Sean. I met Sean in the parking lot on the way to the boat. He watches my videos. There's his son. What's your name, man? Silas. What? Silas. Silas? Silas. Silas. Yeah. Okay, I never heard of Lilas before, but I've heard of Silas. <laughs> Good looking fish, guys. I think we got one coming up here in the corner. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice little calico bass. got to be 14 inches he looks like he's about 12 so he's going back what's your name man my name is jacob jacob all right buddy nice looking fish all right he was stuck on the bottom but he got it to come loose let's see what's coming up with it there's definitely a fish i got color oh big sandy that could be a jackpot fish coming up about five rods down. There it is. Another looks like a sand bass down there. Yep, another sand bass. There we go. We got a rockfish next to us here. Look how pretty that fish is. Yeah, show me all that color, man. Look at that thing. Yeah. Nice fish. Beautiful. There's another rockfish coming on behind us here. Yeah, you can touch that one. He won't, he won't bother you. Nice fitch though. I don't trust you. <laughs> Get back 31 if you doubt it. Oh, okay, they're calling this a sculpin bomb. So are those two half ounce or three yeah, quarters? Half ounce. Two half ounce. And a little bait hook. A little bait Squid. hook. Vertical chicken. Oops. Oh. Alcohol abuse. So it's got, um, you got some chafing in your leader oh, there. Yeah. So he's down in the rocks. On this and you said what bag was yours? 31. 31. Let's check this bag out. Oh my. That is a bag full of sculpin. And look, there's a Sandy in there too. Good job, man. Way to go. What's your name, man? Gabriel. Gabriel, all right. Gabriel got one today. Let's see what he's got in here. Oh, no, that's a sand bass. Yeah, that's nice. We're hooked up right here in the back. Looking over his shoulder. Oh, look at that, a sculpin. He's having a rebate on that sculpin bomb. Let's just see what happens here. So if you look off there in the distance, on the right, that is Tijuana, Mexico. And on the left, where there's no houses or anything, that's the United States. 
And you see there's two fences there. That's the no man's land where lots of people cross it though. If you're close to that during the daytime, you can see kids playing out there. It's like a big schoolyard. All right, there we go, another sculpin. How many have you caught today? Uh, this will be my sixth one. Sixth one, good job. Nice looking fish. Thanks. Little one. All right, we got another one coming up. He said it was a middle one. <laughs> Man, that's a monster. Nice job. Aquarium fish. Pretty nice of the mate to come around and go, yeah, that one's short. You know, just to, just to rub it in. There he goes. Look at this fine dropper loop I tied. It was about eight inches long and it just slid into nothing. This is what it looks like when the fishing is on fire. We are doubled up. I don't know. Oh, look at the size of his sculpin. I had to he turn. Said, he just hit it hard. What do you got, Jim? I probably got this, his brother. <laughs> oh no, I got another calico. calico? Hey, I'd rather catch an illegal calico than an illegal sculpin. There goes his sculpin. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We are we have finally hit the hot spot here. A, a big one? It's it's a big one. I think he had brown shrink. It's a big one. Let's see. Oh, look at the size of that one. It is a monster. Good job there. Bending this rod. We have something coming. He's making it look like he's using the eight ounce weight. You know what? That's okay. Eight ounces of weight. Drag them up spinning. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Wow. Oh, and he is using the sculpin bomber and bombing those sculpin. Good job, man. All right, there's a sculpin coming over the corner of the boat. Two more over there on this side. I would say he put the boat right on top of the rocks for now. Yep. We all ought to be getting bit here shortly. Yeah. No. There you go. You got one. 97 eighths. Good job. Big one, huh? He's got him. He's got a big one on here. One, yeah, yeah, he does. Nice. He's doing good, too. Nice job. Look at the rod. Okay, stop reeling right there. Perfect. Wow. Curtis, we Get have a sculpin here. <laughs> Just stay right there, and these guys will come help you. Take a look at that, buddy. Good job, man. What's your name? Braden. Braden. All right. Nice sculpin, Braden. Get that Braden. He's a little small. He's, he might be. But Braden might be a little small, too. Good fish, though, buddy. You're a YouTube star. All right. Just got a bite. Just got hooked up. Braden just caught one next to me. It looks like the captain put us on exactly the right spot. It's getting a little dark. I don't know how these videos are going to come out, but this is my nicest fish of the day. There's a sculpin. There is a keeper sculpin. Yeah. I'll be careful. All right, we got another one coming in. Let's see, side by side sculpting. There we go. Who's bigger? I don't know. I think you're bigger for sure. The captain definitely put us on the spot. Everybody is hooking up. The deck hands are going crazy. They got lots of work to do now. Now, Braden, you got another one? Yep. All right, good job, buddy. Oh, and there's another one over there for Matthew. Matthew is on Turn fire. Turn around. Check that out. There's Braden and his fish. Good job, buddy. Here we come. Don't know what this one is. Feels like my biggest fish of the day. Look at the size of this monster. Woo! 
here we go we are on fire here at the back of the boat check this out coming up it's getting a little dark hope you can still see the rod it is bent <laughs> Braden's got another one. Good job, Braden. You got another one? Killing it. Killing it, Braden? All right, buddy. Good job. All right. Good job, Braden. There you go, Titus. Captain, I think the captain put us on the spot. Number one. What? Girl. Another sculpin, legal. Good job. Here we go. We got another one. Oh, here we go. Got the big one. Matthew is on. Oh. Are you bringing something up? Look. Definitely keep reeling. Keep up. reeling. Keep reeling. Keep Look how he is pumping that rod. Oh, oh man. Sure? Got he got sharked. That might have been a shark actually. We got two fish. How many you got? Uh, we have two. All right. Good job. I've got four fish today. You got four today? Yeah. I good job. Coming up. Man, the fishing went on fire when the sun went down. This one's not so red. He's much more brown in color. Oh, dang. <laughs> so, Matthew, you changed it up on me. What'd you do different? Sand bass. I was holding my mouth at a slightly different angle. Okay, and it worked. Nice sand bass. I caught the big that one. Good job. Got it, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, come here, let me help. Okay, it just reached the bottom and it got hit instantly. But I didn't get him. But here we go. Oh, look at that bad boy. Braden's got another one. Oh, I got bit. I don't know. This one's definitely fighter. Yeah, I got another one. Oh, that's a nice looking one. That's another sand bass. Braden is on fire. Hold that, Braden. Don't let go. All right. This one might be a keeper. I'm, I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure him. When the fishing's so good that you don't know how many you've caught, it's a good day. Braden's on again. Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Another Dad. sculpin for Braden. Dad, I just got another sculpin. Good job, Braden. We caught one of those too tiny. You guys are doing good over Sorry. there, huh? Oh. There we go. We got another sculpin. What's your name, man? Charlie. Charlie's got a sculpin over there. Look at the boat is loaded with sculpin. We are going crazy. What'd you catch? 14 and a half inch sandbags. All right. Good job, girl. Yeah. Is that going to be the big one for the family? I hope so. If it is, how much do you win? A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. Woohoo! Yeah. Wait, this is too much of a gear. Oh, yeah, you got there one. we go. We are hooked up again. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. What a monster. Absolutely, Curtis. I think I'm limited out, so somebody else can have him. Catch. I want it. Uh, I think you might have a limit already, Braden. <laughs> Charlie's on back here. Oh, yeah. He's got another one. Get going, buddy. Keep cranking. 
That's a big one. You got a monster, Charlie. It's coming. Good job, man. This is what we need. Quality fish. Oh, look at that. He's got a sheep's head. Hold on, buddy. Here we go, another sculpin. Good job. That's a big boy. Check that out. Oops, sorry, man. I caught a shark. Swell shark. Owen, I got a shark. What kind of shark is that one? Swell shark. A I got skull, a swell shark. A skull shark. Swell shark. Oh, swell shark. I don't. Oh gotta release him. Hey, can I take a photo? Yeah, get your camera. That's nice. Oh. Watch out, he'll bite you. <laughs> he'll bite himself. Go get your camera, quick. Does this mean I win jackpot? Go get oh, oh got camera. Right my mom's here. What's up? So, hey, just look, at the camera. look at that camera over there and then turn this way. All right, here we go. That is a squall shark. I never heard swell, swell shark. shark. Swell shark. Never heard of it. it. Looks like a leopard shark with a big belly. Raiden thinks he has another one. I just walked up and he yeah. does. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. It's medium. Good job, Braden. <laughs> you got this figured out now? You know how to do it? Kind of. Okay, good job, buddy. Hey, let me get that up there for you. Been fired up the boat and I got hit. I think I got another keeper coming up. Check out this shark. It is called a swell shark. He's just swelling up. Almost like a big puffer fish. Look at those little tiny teeth. He looks like a leopard shark on the side with a big old belly. You caught this. You caught this. That's so cool. That's insane. That's insane. Everybody loves sharks. It's shark week. Okay, we good? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Just like a puffer fish. Look at that belly. He's floating. He'll shrink his belly down and he'll go down. All right, Sean, how was the day, man? Man, it was, it was awesome. It picked up at the end. Got, got put on fire at the end. It went on fire. How many fish did you catch, man? All right, good job. We got, we got 10 for the day. It went on fire at the end there. Good looking sculpting, huh? Yes, sir. You, you having tacos tomorrow? Yes, sir. All right. Big old. Yeah. Nice looking sand bass. I didn't catch any legal bass. No, I got three. You want one? Nope. Sure. I'm positive. Thank you, though. Yeah. I have so many fish at home. Matthew was getting his picture taken with a sculpin and the he got stung right there. How's that feel, man? I felt better and I felt worse. Okay, so it's like a bee sting? Hope it's a bad bee sting. Hopefully they don't have to amputate. I don't know, man. <laughs> You'll, it'll be